Webinar Jam tutorial and Webinar Jam demo. So what's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a Webinar Jam tutorial and demo like the video title suggests. And um, yeah, as you can see, we are inside of the Webinar Jam members area. And um, yeah, let's get started with today's um, video. So um, to first create our webinar and you know, to give you a demo and to give you a tutorial at the same time of all the features and what you can actually do. Um, first, let's go over to new webinar right here. And we're going to go over here to full configuration so we can actually create a webinar. I'm um, like a full on webinar from scratch and go over all the features and what we can actually do. Okay. And I'm going to leave a link down below in the video description to Webinar Jam as well. So you can actually get like a trial of the software so you can, you know, test it out. And I'm also going to leave a link down below to some bonuses as well. If you do decide to actually get Webinar Jam through my affiliate link down below in the video description, um, that includes obviously like, you know, um, learning how you can like rank on YouTube so you can get free targeted traffic to your webinars. Um, same with Google and stuff as well. So I'll leave a link down below to that and some extra resources as well. Um, this video as well which is a helpful video on webinar marketing tips so you can actually you know create you know good quality webinars and that actually convert and also I want to leave a link down below to this um, perfect webinar script as well and this script is also in this book as well so um, I'll leave a link down below to this which can help you out as well when it comes to like giving you the perfect script for your webinars and yeah with that being said I just wanted to go over some resources that can help you out with your webinars but um yeah let's go over today's tutorial so first of all we want to go over here to basic configuration so what you want to do right here is putting your you know name for your webinar so this could be anything say for example right here you know quarter one power with mark so you can just be for your reference only then obviously the webinar title needs to be something catchy so secrets to earning a six figure income while working from home okay that's a pretty catchy title so for an example if you're in the weight loss niche you want to have like you know a title that's going to be catchy for the weight loss niche right so let's just say for an example how to lose 50 pounds without giving up your favorite foods like kfc or something like that i don't know <laughs> but like basically what you want your title to be is you know to convey some sort of benefit to the consumer but also like go over how they can avoid doing something at the same time whilst receiving the benefit right so in this case you know the consumer is going to be losing weight without giving up their favorite foods right okay so for example if i was selling like a youtube course you know my webinar title could be like how to rank on youtube and get free target traffic for your products okay and this is another important setting right here this webinar language feature so for an example if you're trying to sell to people who are in spain for an example so the spanish market then what you want to do is change this to spanish because basically what this is going to do for you right here on um, this webinar language is change it and translate like you know the webinar like all the buttons within the actual webinar like the live chat and stuff to you know spanish right and obviously your title for your webinar is going to be in spanish as well now the only thing about this this doesn't like actually change language in your user interface when you're actually going through like all these settings but like in regards to like the actual webinar itself for your attendees and for your audience this is going to be in the spanish language for an example okay so if you're like you know doing your webinar in a foreign language then you can just like you know choose your language right here and just go with that the next step is obviously the webinar presenters um this on demand section right here is just where you can list your webinar so then other people can like you know find the webinar you can also configure the webinar provider where do you want to do you know a webinar jam live on their um, private network or whether you want to do it on YouTube for example so that's also up to you so I'll probably recommend webinar jam live and we can just click on confirm now another thing I actually forgot to talk about is actually your account configuration so if we go over here to integrations you want to actually make sure that you have your um, email or responder integrated with your webinar jam account okay so depending on what order responder you actually use you want to make sure it's integrated with your um, webinar jam accounts so you can actually send emails because you need to send emails to your list to the people that like register to your webinar so you can actually notify them and get people you know showing up to the webinar right and even like you know send them like notifications afterwards to buy a product or to watch the replay or something like that right depending on like what type of actions and also depending on whether or not like your attendees have watched through the whole webinar or oh, there's lots of different like you know scenarios we can go through but this is very important to set up right same with your email gateways right here and your sms gateways as well if you want to do a bit of that now if we click on next right here we can go to schedules okay and this is where we can you know dive deeper into our webinar chat tutorial and really get everything set up properly so what we can do right Right now is first of all if you want to do like a live webinar like right now for webinar jam we can just go over here click on right now and host our webinar now i probably wouldn't recommend this personally because if you do like a webinar right now without promoting a webinar first or like building hype around it you might not get anyone watching but again you might have like a live audience already so you can just like you know host a webinar right away so it doesn't matter but um for most of you guys you probably want to go over here and schedule your webinar so you can basically you know 
um, choose between a single presentation right here so you can schedule a single showing or multiple showings at the same time or you can choose a series of presentations so this is going to be up to you as well also a really cool thing about webinar jam and what i really like about the um, user interface along with um ever webinar as well but um for webinar jam like just throughout this tutorial what's really cool is that as we go throughout this whole process of like setting up our webinars inside of webinar jam we also have like little video tutorials right here kind of like explaining like what each of the steps are and going through like the whole process but of course i'm going to be going through this whole process with you as well so make sure to watch this video till the end so you can actually have your very own live webinar up and running as soon as possible so we can actually schedule a time right here if you want to schedule our webinars all right so i just chose a time to schedule right here for our single presentation and i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm and click on next so we can go on to the registration process now as you can see on screen right here we can choose from a bunch of different templates we can actually use and customize for our own um, benefit or we can actually embed the registration page on our website for an example so people can just register on our website as opposed to just going to like one of these links right here in um, these templates right so what we can actually do first of all is click on customize and we can basically add our own website url right here as well and save that and if we go to my webinars for example if we just go to like one of my other templates so let's just go over here to test for video um, what we can actually do is embed the registration box to your website. We have the option to basically just copy this, you know, code right here and we can place this on our website and basically, you know, add an embed, you know, registration box to our website. So that's just a feature I want to go over as well if you're like a blogger, for example. But um, yeah, let's just choose a template for this example video. So let's just click on this template right here and click on customize. And as you can see, we can pretty much like customize everything right here. And like I said, during the start of today's video, basically, as you can see on the screen right here, this title that we went over during the start of today's video is going to appear everywhere. So make sure to take the time to come up with like the perfect headline. It's actually going to get people to like really get excited about, you know, um, attending the webinar and actually get them to like register in the first place, right? So we can always like add this as well. So if we just like, get rid of all this, we can just add whatever we want and we can always change the headline and change everything you know whenever you want but um just obviously you know keep that in mind then we can obviously change like you know um certain aspects of the page as well which is pretty cool so if we just click on save and exit we'll go over to the next steps real quick and we can click on confirm and if we go over here you know this is going to be the registration form field so basically you know when people go to your webinar you know they're going to put in their first name and their email address to actually register for your webinar um what you can also do is make them like putting their last names and their phone number if you want to basically like you know contact them through um mobile which can also be beneficial as well and you can make this like a mandatory field to enter as well um for both the last name and the phone number which is also you know what you can actually do to gather more information but at the same time if you don't want to like you know add these you can always just delete them and yeah that's also like another cool feature we can add to our form fields as well to gather more intel and more information regarding our um, prospects and our you know attendees now here's another cool feature um depending on how you want to actually monetize the webinars a lot of people with webinars they actually try to like sell a product at the very end of the webinar which is why it's free because they make money and monetize the webinar by actually selling a product at the very end of the webinar right and some people, you know, they actually charge a registration fee to actually attend the webinar because the webinar is actually going to be some sort of like training or some sort of like exclusive event, right? So you can also, you know, charge a registration fee. Um, you can charge like, let's just say, for example, $25, not 20, yeah, $25 you know, and you can change that to like euros, um, to Canadian dollars or whatever you are throughout the world. Um, and we can basically like add a link to your payment checkout method right here and basically get people to pay you to join your webinar but this is going to be up to you and how you want to monetize your webinar so i'm going to leave that choice up to you based on your own personal situation and this section right here the password protection is basically where you can actually have passwords so um, people need like some sort of password to actually join your webinar so if we had like the password required option right here people need to have like some sort of like password and you can have like one master password so people you know will log in with the same password to join your webinar and you can create your password right here obviously or you can have like some sort of like unique password for every attendee so every attendee will have like a automatically generated like you know unique password that they have to like use to join your webinar okay um, of course you can set up to like no password needed if you want and that will be fine as well so if we just click on confirm and go over to the next step you know we can go over to notifications so um there's a lot of different things we can do and in fact webinar notifications this is very 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 important actually so i'll take the time to actually fill out this information and to have your emails be precise and on point because your emails are actually going to help you get as many people onto your webinar as possible so make sure to like you know take the time to you know fill in your information now if you go over to integrations like i said during the start of today's video you want to make sure you have your email autoresponder integrated like i said during the start of the video because you obviously need to be able to send emails to your um attendees and 
into your prospects. Now, another cool thing I wanted to show you right here is with like the um, integration settings and stuff is that if this happens, then do this. So essentially what we can actually do to maximize conversions and to maximize, you know, engagement and everything when it comes to like succeeding with webinars is we can basically like set out email notifications based on what type of actions they actually do. So for example, if an attendee actually purchases a product, then you can send them a specific, you know, email based on them buying that product, right? So at the same time, you know, let's just say, you know, an attendee actually misses the live webinar, then we can actually send them a customized, you know, template email based on the action of them missing the live webinar, for example, right? So I just wanted to quickly touch on this as well, real quick for you. So that's the email or responder integration section. And obviously right here, you can embed your affiliate link into your webinar pages as well, which is pretty cool as well. And what we can do right here, integrate a third party tracking system is basically add like our um, tracking codes right here. So our pixels for our Facebook, um, you know, Google Analytics, all that type of stuff right here for your individual pages. So basically these sections right here are individual pages. So yeah, this is also very important as well for tracking purposes. So if you click on confirm, we can go over to the next step, which is gonna be all about, you know, setting up your thank you page. So at this point of today's tutorial for Webinar Jam and throughout today's demo and walkthrough, We've configured our webinar, we've set up some sort of schedule, we've created the registration page and we've set up like the notifications so we can actually send follow up emails with our um, attendees and we've also set up the integrations and stuff and basically have that all set up as well. So now the next step is to set up a thank you page that people can actually go on after they register for our um, webinar. So you can see on screen right here, these are going to be the thank you page templates that you can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this template for an example. Let's just click on this one and we can click on customize to actually modify the template page. We can add our logo right here, which would be a good idea. So I just went ahead and deleted that logo just for an example you can always change the text here as well so we can just get rid of this it's not a good idea so i'm gonna click on Control z to obviously undo that but um what i recommend on this page right here is to actually record like a two minute video of yourself basically like going over the benefits that you're going to be going through um within the webinar and the goal of this video right here is to make your attendees and your prospects like or anyone who's gonna be watching your webinar really really excited and hyped about the upcoming webinar and obviously you want to make sure your headline right here is going to be catchy as well which is going to increase that hype and increase that perceived value that they're going to be gaining from the webinar so i'm just going to go over here and we can click on save and exit and we can click on confirm right here